going to be fishing at Lake Wenashi, fishing for sock. I wish us luck. Baker, you ready? Yeah. Take fish out. Pretty morning. And go. Okay. You gonna catch big fish? No. No? No, no big fish? No. What kind of fish? Just huh? What kind of fish we can catch? Big fish. No, big. What about you? Big fish? Yeah. Biggest. We can't go super, super fast because old man here hasn't got his motor totally broke in, but let's go. Forgive me when we get fish on, it can get really chaotic when a lot of rods go off. I'll start barking orders pretty quick, like can we nets, do this, do that. Oh, that's the first fish I've seen shallow. Put it on the thing with the carpet. Okay. Okay boys, go, go drive. Is it still there? Yep, it's there. Is it? Just keep your, yep, it's there. What depth did you just set that at, Nate? Baker, mommy got a fish? Keep reeling. Is it actually coming up? Is the number yeah. getting smaller? Yeah, it is now. It wasn't before. So he's probably gone. No. Oh, look. Come here, kid. Branson, get up here. Hurry up, dude. Tell me when yours is getting close, Jane. Go, buddy. Come on. Reel him, Brent. Reel. You got it, dude. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big one, bro. Let's go, bud. Is it gone now? Jane's is gone? I watched it, man. It got right to the boat? All right, what's up? Reel, Brent. Reel. Here, Carson, hold on to this for go, me. Go, buddy. Hold on to the rod. Reel it, bud. How close is he? It's still there. there. I can't I see you. I can see the rod tip. It's at 20. Yeah. How? What's it? Depth? 28, 27? Yep. Go, buddy, go! I'm gonna switch it there. Yeah, I guess. Oh, here you go. Here you go, Dad. Oh, he's right here. Okay, ready? Now lift. You gotta give me a lift. Let, 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 got it. Pull nice, line you got yeah, it, buddy. Line pull line out. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish, bro. Look, yeah. Woo -hoo. I'll drive. What do you think, dude? Dead. Yeah? Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah? You wanna hold your fish up? So 75 on that, Jane. Let's see. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Hold them up. What'd you think, dude? Good. Is that cool? All right. Let's go back and get a picture with Mom. Dylan, help her. Uh, that other bow rod's going. See, oh. this is the crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you want to reel it, dude? No. Oh, we got to jump on here. Hold the, hold the camera for me, then. I will. Just set it in the Two hands up. I want to. Oh, yeah. Keep it up there, Jeff. I got it. Turn the rod towards the bow. OK. Keep the camera on me, guys. Keep it on me. We got a fish on up here, boys. You guys are gonna have to. Yeah, uh, the kids that. are holding the GoPro, so excuse it if it's not super smooth. You guys are gonna have to start punching. Okay. Where you, you guys on me? Yeah. Hey guys. All right. Where you at? I'm at nine. He's coming up right now. I'm fishing. Come here. 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 Come
Yeah! Film that! Film that, Ray! Yeah, full line out. Full line, full line. So we don't break the rods. Yep. Oh, back rod, back rod! Oh my! Raylan, go film him down there! Go film what? Go film me! Come here, kids! Go, I'll film Go real, Ray! Catch one, babe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Small one. What's that tank top you got there? Oh, this uh -oh. old thing? That old thing. Yeah. The... Use coupon code uh, YouTube. You Grab yourself one. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, kids, come on. Come some, come reel this fish in with Carson, one of you guys. Come on. Come on, Baker, come help. Got one on, Carson? Baker, help Baker, him! Help him real, Bakes! <laughs> he was like, okay, I got that! Wait, right. this is where you Dylan, can you drive and and deploy that? Uh, okay. Look, give me a count when you deploy first. Back up. Right there. 10. Stay up there. You on, Bakes? Come on. Give me a lift, give me a lift. Got it. Okay. Pull it up. Good job, Baker! Okay, I, I help you. You ready? Here we go. Good job, Biggs. Come here, come here, come here, kids. Branson! Branson! Get up here! Wait! Go, bud! Okay, darn it. That's great. That's great. Go, buddy, go. Get him, Brian. Tell me a count. I can't see the line. Somebody watch it. Okay, hand me a net. I'll trade you. You hold the rod, Dylan. Sorry if I hit you. Branch, can you reel this? A sockeye up? Yeah, just like I thought, Janie. I'll come off. Come off. Come off. You haven't felt it, have you? Oh, yeah. I think I do. Real, real, real. Don't, don't stop reeling. Oh, I think Jeff got this one. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, there's a fish right here. Carson, come here. He's tangled up. Let me see. Oh, I got him, Carson. Carson, Carson, right here, right here. Hold on, now. Double chain dog on the cam? Wow, that's impressive. Like, just, oh, that one's all lassoed up. Yeah. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, that one that just dropped. Right, oh, Jane, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, Dylan. Oh, no, back there. Right there. Right there. Oh, chain dog's on the line. <laughs> tell me the kill. Francis, can you tell me numbers? Um, nope, he can't read. Oh, 10. Okay. 10. All right, coming. Real down. She might be in it, person. Nope, oh, get it. Just on that. Just Dylan, you deploy. Just we got two? down. Yeah, there's two. Got a fish, big. Do you want to help me? Okay, yes. come here. There was some big sockeye. How? To call, call out numbers, Janie, when you get close. Thirty-two. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. nets at my disposal, so as soon as you guys. No. Tell me when you're at like 15. Okay. 20. Huh? 20. Back up, Brandon. Okay, coming. Good net. 15. Coming. Carson, you ready? Ten. Give me that. Give me the net. Come on. Take the net. That's a good one. This is why I carry three. Oh, the line needs to be. How do I tie? Lift up. Lift up. No, the line. He's pulling line. Carson, straighten the boat. Still there? But she might, there's some bigger oh, ones. I think you loosened it, Janie. Shit. There. Perfect. Hurry, real. Just. Let me see it. I don't want it too tight. Stop. No, your locks. Stop. Because if they pull too hard, you're going to break it. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't change it. Okay. There he is. He's okay, still reel out. down. Give me a lift. Turn it towards me. 
Nice. Pull some line out. I did. A little bit more. Mommy caught one. Got a little double. Fish, keep it in your zone. I will. <laughs> hey, are you recording? Yeah. I will get Who's that going this one? We got a triple on right now. Okay, who's close? Carson, Is it a triple? You still got yours? Carson, did you lose it? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that white stuff down there, Mom? Ooh. Oh, what's that white stuff? I'm gonna just. Okay. I don't know, man. Yeah. What's that white stuff down there, Dad? That's just a reflection, dude. Sorry, bud. That one is just a little bit smaller. I didn't realize it was. Good job, bud. Yeah, that one's a small one. Yeah, a little bit smaller. No, I just bumped it. Okay. Did you touch this, buddy? No. I didn't think so. Over here. I know, I don't think you touched it. I think it just got bit. Ray, Ray, you on? Hey, Dylan. Yeah. You on one, sis? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I got the rod. I got the kicker. You got the rod? Let me slide in there. Got it. Good job. Nice job, sis. What, baby? That's a better one. Look at the size of that one. That's the biggest one in the morning. Oh, wow. Good job. Good job, sis. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Holy cow. That's a nice one. Get out of the net. Break it. Oh, her out. Didn't break it. Oh, got it. Raylan, did you catch that one? Yeah. All right, come cold it up now. Welcome aboard. Boat ride. Hold on, sis. Get close. Yeah, tighten that drag. 15. Tighten that drag. We're almost there, though. Yeah. Reel, 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 reel. I can see oh, it. That's a nice one, Brandon. Come on, keep reeling. Gotta lift through that ledge. Fish. Come on, guys. Reel down to that ledge. Give me a lift. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, bud. Good job, buddy. That's what the size of my first one. Huh? Yeah. High five, dude. Good catch, bro. Yeah, you guys can bump. Oh, another one. Oh, yeah, that's an old fashioned double right what there. What you got, Keith? See, Dizzle? No idea. Hey, bud, can you step out of the way, please? I'm going to have to Come make over it. here, Brand. Come on, stand up on the seat. There, you can watch. There you go. No, Ready? Okay, get your video ready. I'm going to come in. Okay, bring it over. Tell me when you get it close and I'll get a net. Yeah, help him Oh, the front rod! Front rod! Okay. Ready, Bakes? One, two, three. Um, 18. It's getting close, Nate. 15. You feel it, Bakes? Tell me. You feel it? Okay. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's gone. Dang it. Next try, Baker. It's just hard, Bakes. Now hooked, is that why? Nice. All right, guys. So we're having an amazing morning, even though we got here late. Somebody slept in. <laughs> Nate said, "Don't whatever you do, just don't be late." Hey, get, 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 and, hey, um, hey, hey. Yeah. And uh, got a fish on back there with old Jane Dog. Uh, but anyways, we showed up a little bit late. It's only. I don't know if that one's there, is it? 9.54, I got my kids, Raylan, Baker and Branson That's are back there. And then we got uh, I see, I old see C. The Dizzle. Egg. <laughs> and then Nate Fenton. Hey, hey, other, other bottle. Oh, we got a double. Branson, Baker, reel that one, boy. <laughs> oh, that one's off yours? Just start deploying it. Anyways, I'm trying to do an interview here to talk about the fishing and we just keep getting rod down, rod down, rod down. So that just goes to show you how fun this fishery is. 
and I'm gonna turn the camera around and let Nate talk about this fishery. Is it and, gone? Uh, Farmer maybe Jill, where we're what's at. What's up with you guys? Uh, so we're over here at Lake Wenatchee. Uh, real popular fishery. It's a great fishery for kids. Been trying to talk little Jeffy here into coming for a couple years. Um, we're just out here catching sockeye salmon that have swam all the way up the Columbia River into the Wenatchee River. The um, into the Wenatchee River and then they enter the lake and their final destination of the lake is down there. Down at the far end. They're going into the two rivers at the far end of the lake. Hmm. So these fish come in here and they spend a month or two waiting for the water level to come up for some rains and then they'll shoot up that river and spawn. Uh, we are out here just trolling. It's a simple setup. Bear hooks, smile blades, some flies that I tie up, nothing fancy. It's a pretty simple fishery. Like I said, great fishery for kids. Once you get your technique dialed, it's pretty fast paced as you can see. Um, we're just doing lead balls today just for the ease of it so everybody can deploy their own rods. They're getting deep enough right now because of the warm temps that we've had that I very well might switch to riggers here very shortly. But if I can stay away from riggers, I will stay away from riggers because I can get way more bites running lead balls. And I think it's simply just the amount of lines I have in the water because down riggers you can't do that. But um, yeah, very productive day started two hours later than we really should have but we're still i mean my family's basically done. done oh right behind you nate no. <laughs> it just got hit that was that you did you touch it no that was a fish that, it just got hit yeah uh yeah we're basically gonna wrap up here pretty quick because i personally don't need any right now i'm here for like six days but um yeah great fishery i mean jeff can look show you some of the gear here at the end pretty simple stuff like i said just dodgers sling blades Smile blades, red hooks. Uh, I like purples a lot too here. The clear water, darker colors sometimes work pretty well. Pinks, a little bit of greens, but greens are early in the morning. But yeah, really productive fishery. Great fishery to introduce kids. I mean, we were at 20 fish in the boat in an hour and a half, and we've lost that many. Just yeah, trying to easy. let the kids reel them in because it's barbless hooks here and no bait. So you definitely got to keep tight lines and steady pressure and even the best fishermen are still going to lose plenty of fish here. Feel like a nice one? Good God. Where's my fishing rod where I need it? <laughs> Let's try to do some. I'm still at 30, guys. <laughs> okay. Carson, you got to turn. There you go. All right. Getting close? Close, guys. I'm at 15. And once you get, babe, you got to have to back up. Okay, you gotta get to that lead and then swing the rod over my head. Okay. Swing the rod over my head. Nate, put him down in the water really quick. I wanna get him like flapping in there. Oh yeah, get me wet. I did that on purpose. That was on purpose. I wanna bone Fun stuff. Always the time. Gotta get me a. Sit down. Kiddos, can we get, get, we're gonna have to make a qu couple quick moves. Can you guys sit down in the chairs for me, please? Sit down, Jeff. Sit down, Brad. I need to be able to see, I need to go back. Because I'm gonna pick and choose through rocks, so. Ow. Hey, Brad, hey, Carson. stay there. If I dip in right next to the white boat, is there a couple rocks that'll be clean? It's calm enough, I can get on the needle. Yeah. There's a bunch of dead fish. Yeah, you're good. I'll just straight shot. Straight ahead now. Yeah, straight shot. Oh, there's a tiny I mean, you have that one. All right, guys. So we were fishing Lake Wenatchee today. And like I said, I don't use anything really fancy here. Just your standard chrome dodger. I've actually started tinkering with some of the Pro Troll lights and stuff like that i use those especially when there's low light i think it helps a little bit but i really don't know maybe it's just a gimmick that that uh sells me more than the fish but i mean this is how simple it is these fish are are krill eaters so little hooks little red hooks is all it is and those hooks are pretty worn they're starting to turn gold because they've caught so many fish but literally that's it guys like they eat krill out and out in the salt and so i'm using like this i put this kind of tape on my dodgers again 
different size hook, mylar. I throw beads in some of them. I got these little flies that I tie. I mean, this one's caught probably a hundred stinking sockeye here in this lake. I use these Schindler flies quite a bit, but again, I don't use the fancy Schindler flies. I use the skimpier stuff. I just think people overthink sockeye quite a bit. People come out here and they want to use squids and all this other stuff. And yeah, that stuff catches fish, but when it comes down and it gets a little bit tougher, less is more for sockeye. And that, that carries on to a lot of fisheries. Like this is my main sockeye box. Like, I mean, I throw a smile blade on some, a couple beads. It's not technical whatsoever. There's more in your technique than there is in your gear. There's more in your speeds, how you present everything, your setbacks, how you stack your rods. The fine details are, are more what it's about than the actual gear. Because like I said, this right here is all you really need. And that's your Lake Wenatchee fishery. It's a great fishery for kids, family come out and just have a nice day on in the sun in eastern Washington catch limits of sockeye and kids go swim play on the beach camp it's a fun place I recommend you checking it out simple fillet Nate where do you start uh, there's tons of ways to do it me I just come in I start taking fins off I'm gonna give myself a little grip hole just because the fish are getting slimy now knife slippery I just come in and take these fins off. I like fish. I like fish cuts. I split I like fish. up the I middle. Like fish eyeballs. No, give it. I like Reach it. in. I like get behind everything. Pull it out. And that rope it up. And then for these, since I got so many of them, I'm not dealing with the collars. So I come in behind the collar, like so. I hit the backbone and then I turn down and yes I am cutting in an unsafe manner so <laughs> but I've done this a lot normally I'd always say cut away from me but you just follow the backbone you want a knife that's like a semi-flex knife and there ain't much there no it's good and then I just come in here and the bones run like this, and so I take my knife, and I just use the tip of my knife, and I come in and I lift, basically lift those bones up, and the trick is, is to go with, with the grain of the bones, the angle they're pointed, and then you're good. Split it in Look half. Look at that. Look at that red meat. 